This is a can of Bumblebee Wild Alaska Red Salmon. It's not tuna, it's not sardines, it's salmon. It is what it is. Tech Nomad here and today we're going to talk about the Winbook TW100 and my opening was to emphasize that things are what they are. This is a Windows uh, running Windows 8.1 tablet and it's not meant to be and it really can't be a replacement for a desktop computer. It can be used as a replacement for a laptop and certainly for a um, a computer on the go all right so that it is what it is all right it's not a be-all end-all so don't expect it to be that and you won't be disappointed sure and my understanding is is that this is the TW 100 and that it's basically an Asus T 100 that was specially made for Micro Center under the WinBook name okay so if I miss anything in this review if you want to go and look up the T100 from ASUS I think you'll find it's pretty much the same. Now the reason that I'm doing a, a special or doing a video on this is because it's cheap. All right, So the, T, the ASUS T100 is 250 and it comes with a keyboard. This is 200 and does not include a keyboard but you can get one for um, retails for $50 but it's available for $39.95. So now you're saying, well, wait a minute, I, I can do the math. If you're telling me that the Asus is $250 and this is $200 and the keyboard's another $50, that makes $200. Yes and no. That's true except for the fact that most of the micro centers will have open box units. Now, open box means that somebody may have just opened it up, took a look at it, decided they didn't want it for whatever reason. Maybe they took it, they brought it back comes with all the same warranties, no issues, and in fact, here's one here, this is the one I got, and it still has the, the plastic over the screen, so that's, somebody didn't even bother to take that off. Now, the interesting thing comes up is that the screen, uh, the, the tablet, when they're open box, are much cheaper. So, for example, this one here had a little, little scratch, and it's $129. So now we're getting interesting. So now we've got $129 Windows compatible machine and then you're going to get a tablet for another forty dollars okay and you might even be able to get an open open I'll take a look at the, the cover for it in a second you might be able to even get that a little bit cheaper too if somebody returned that as well so you could get out of this for under two hundred dollars okay so now for two hundred dollars you basically have a, a a mini laptop for lack of a better word we're just gonna call it a mini laptop it is a tablet it is touch screen compatible, uh, touch sensitive, obviously. So, for example, I can just go in and I can do all those. Although I found for the majority of things I need to do, I really need a mouse and I really need a keyboard. It is good that it is a tablet. Um, again, you can get some of those things done. You might even start to use some of the tablet features that Windows 8 supports. Remember that interface that everybody hates and nobody uses? Is they like to use the other part. They try to get rid of that as quickly as possible. But in any event, if you did decide that you wanted to use this interface, uh, you can certainly do that. I can see there's actually a little... Um, that artifacting on the screen that you're seeing is a result of the video. It's, it's, it's not actually doing that on my screen. The screen actually looks pretty decent. Okay. So we have a full win running Windows 8, so it's not like a mini version or anything like that. Um, the specs I'll put down the bottom. Basically, it's got 32 gigs of, of SSID. So again, you're not going to be able to put a ton, a ton, a ton of things on it. But if uh, you do need to do some basic stuff, you can do that. It comes with Office, a one-year subscription to Office 365. So basically, you're going to get Office on this. So if you needed a device that you wanted to take with you to school, or in my case, I travel around a lot, and I don't want to carry my laptop, but I might need to run a Windows program. As much as I love my Android tablets, 
I may need to run a Windows program, and now I can. I just take this with me, I'm all set. N again, camera in the front, camera in the back, nothing to write home about. If you needed to do Skype, that's fine. You've got a full size, um, full size, if I can turn that enough so you can see it, probably not. Full size USB, uh, has a mini uh, HDMI, so it actually, you can pump HDMI out. It has a micro USB, the same as everything, actually charges through that micro USB, so it's nothing special you need for that. Headphone jack and SD card slot, so you can actually, uh, it's an easy way for me to move files between my Android device and my laptop or, or my, my Windows environment real quick. And you might be asking yourself, why don't they actually just make a tablet that does both? I'll do a little video on that later. They actually don't think we'll buy them, is essentially what's happening. They're, they're cons they're think their thinking is right now that we want one or the other, when I, I believe that, yes, a lot of people, if they could get something that could do both, they would. But right now, that's not the case. Speaking of cases, all right, so you can use the pop-up keyboard if you needed to use that. That's fine and dandy. Uh, not a big fan of that, obviously. So I went ahead and got the case, which is available specifically for it, for uh, $39.95, because it was on sale. And obviously I'll just go ahead and see if I can just do that real quick. I know we don't have a lot of screen thing. Uh, it is a, a magnetic pogo, so you just put it there, boom. I now have uh, a keyboard with a mouse pad with physical buttons, by the way. With physical buttons okay and the way that it sets up I don't have a whole lot of room here but essentially what happens is is you pull this back section up you put this it looks a little cheesy but it actually works and then you do that and that's your stand okay and that's that is enough to hold it and again if you're someplace and you needed to just you know open up your laptop or you needed to just get on your Windows device real quick that works just fine. So like I said, if you get these as open box things, then of course we can flip this over and close it. Uh, if you get it as open box, you could get out of this for under $200. So that is a far cry from the $250 plus tax if you went with the ASUS and even less uh, for the device itself. So I'm going to obviously, I'm going to keep it in this case. It's going to protect it. It's going to give me my key, my full keyboard with my function keys with my trackpad and my physical buttons. Um, again, not, not, it is what it is. It's nothing to write home about in terms of a powerhouse. It's not, uh, I wouldn't run AutoCAD on it. I wouldn't do certain things on it. But if I needed something that's small and light that I could just take with me and do some, open it up and respond to a letter and do a little thing here or there, this is the device that I would go with, okay? This is the Micro Center brand, so you've been looking at the quick review of the WinBook TW100. This is the High Tech Nomad reminding you to please click on the like, please click the subscribe.